Well, overall, the market on edge today. The Dow falling 620 points to close out its worst week since October. The question is this, how much is what's going on with GameStop and Reddit and Robinhood going to impact the overall market? If at all, let's bring in Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. And Jim, I, you're known as a bond guy, but you're a market guy. And this is now turning into a market story because what a lot of people will say is that we can't just blame Robinhood. We can't just blame Reddit. The Federal Reserve, interest rate policy, money supply, 0% rates, that this was creating, brewing a, a perfect storm along with idiocy on allowing a stock to be shorted 130% to its float. This was creating the perfect storm for something like this to occur. I, I agree. You know, this this isn't just that one thing happened. Uh, the easy policy by the Federal Reserve, the bailouts from the spring helped to set a environment where people thought risk taking was re the risk was reduced. I could take more risk. And that's what we've seen happen. We've seen more and more risk coming along the line. If you want to throw in the positive with the story, zero commissions, fractional shares, the information on the Internet has made it easier for retail investors to invest. Throw in a couple of wins. Remember when Buffett sold his airlines and the airlines went up right after that or that they all ran into Tesla and they ran it up to seven hundred dollars and it made it into the S&P 500. So now all of a sudden they've got the wind at their back. Then you come into a situation where the sizing of the short positions in some of these stocks, especially GameStop, this was just all wrong. It was way too big. They left themselves vulnerable to a big player coming in and squeezing them. And that big player is the collective of a lot of retail investors that started last week. Yeah, the wisdom of crowds. And to their credit, they figured it out. They looked at the data and said, wow, this company in this situation with 130 percent short on float. Who knows how that happens? Where's the SEC regulation SHO, which are supposed to prevent what they call naked short selling? Not exactly sure if it appeared here, but it certainly looks like it, Jim. Do you think this morphs into anything bigger? Here's the question. Again, we have to, I don't want to speculate, of course. We have to go on what we know. And what we know is that Robinhood has now limited order flow on names that are not involved in this. Starbucks, AMD, General Motors. you have any idea why they may do that? I think Joe Saluzzi probably had the best explanation right before me that it's probably something with the firm. But let's write this bigger. We've seen this movie before. The market is, I don't want to be careful of my words here, the market is worried about a contagion. We don't have one now. But this story is not over. If this continues to, if we see these short stocks continue to rally and the losses build, will people start missing margin calls? Will then the brokers be responsible for those margin calls? Will we then get a contagion somewhere down the line? Nobody knows. And that's what's the fear here. Look, there's the old joke, the window washer that falls off the 10th floor scaffolding as he passes the third floor, so far so good. But we don't know what the pavement is. Is it a big bale of cotton in a truck like Tom Cruise in the firm? Or is it just cement down there at the bottom? So this story is still unfolding as we go forward. Well, it goes to market confidence as well. I mean, here you got some traders. Maybe they're new. Maybe they've been around a long time. Just because they're online doesn't mean they're new. We've, the Internet's been around for a while. Some of them were making a lot of money. They were outperforming the, quote, smart money. In some cases, maybe taking the smart money down, but the market is bigger than that, right? The market is also pension funds and just mom and pop. And we've been burned by a couple recessions in the last decade in wild market swings, Jim. If we have some kind of liquidity issues or there's bigger problems or people can't take their money out, not saying there is, and I hope there won't be, there's a, it's, a, it's already a shaky market confidence coming into this, is it not? No, it, it definitely is. And I think that that is where the concern comes in. If this was just a story about the little guy versus the big guy, pull up your popcorn and let's see who winds up winning, that would be one thing. But this story could have a consequence beyond just the initial players, whether or not they win or they lose, if it metastasizes into something much bigger. And we'd have to wait and see. And the problem also might be, given the, uh, the populace that's around this as well, too, I heard a great line that somebody said that the regulators have to act like they're not helping the masters of the universe, but they might have to help the masters of the universe. That's a little different than 2008 when they just came, basically came in and said, we have to bail them out 
because it was the risk of the financial system. But now they can't just say that outright. They have to walk that fine line. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But that's what the fear is, that if it does, the pushback about trying to you know, calm the financial system will be far, yeah. far greater than we've ever seen before. Yeah, but and to Joe's point, to calm it down, Joe did say we have seen this kind of stuff before. It was a lot of people on one or two stocks that maybe was not expected. Let, let them take the weekend, get the house in order, and see what happens on Monday morning, certainly. But we appreciate your views. Jim Bianco, Bianco Research. Jim, thank you very much. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.